Okay, so I've taken off the crank, taken off this, pretty easy. Now we're up to the scary stuff, I haven't done this before. So we need to take off these. Take this one off, but hmm, I probably will. Uh, do this. There you go. Alright, I'm imagining we need to take these screws off here. This works now. You can see that the motor drives it through here, and the crank drives this around. So, as the motor cuts in, it helps the crank. But there's a freewheel, so you don't have to move the crank if you don't want. But the crank helps a lot. Question is, how does this gear come out now? A little bit. Now, there is a key. There it is. There's the key. The key fits into that slot there. Into there. going to touch these washers. That's the other side. So the bearing gets pushed flush to this face and it needs to lock so it's free to spin that way anti-clockwise and it locks in the clockwise direction. Just make sure we get it in the right way. Of course this, um, this solid gear, you know, I, don't, I think this will last forever. They do sell this as a replacement part at PSW Power as well. However, Although I was able to get that whole thing under warranty, I had to pay $50 US to get it shipped to Australia, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I purchased uh, this bearing, it's a CSK 30P bearing. Made in China, but I bought this from um, from Turkey. Fifteen dollars Australian delivered. It's about eleven dollars US. So let's 
it's a brand new bearing hopefully it's the same size it's the same size okay so we just got to make sure that yep it's gonna go in this way with the writing facing forward yep, there's no writing on that side one thing you will notice is it is missing that o-ring groove there's no o-ring groove on this one I'm hoping it's not going to be a big issue just add a little bit of grease to the outside um, I'm assuming it's some sort of water seal maybe maybe oil seal stop the oil getting out don't know hopefully it's not a deal breaker and uh, yeah the trick is to get this guy in there and what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna take it over to my brother and we're gonna try to press that out with a, a, a huge press. Now we can heat this up and try to hit that out with a bit of a hammer. Uh, but again, you can, uh, you can freeze that bearing using a can of air spray. If you hold the air spray can upside down, you can actually use it to freeze the bearing. And then maybe heat the outside of this thing with, uh, with a heat gun and then try to pop that out. But I'm gonna try to use a press. All right. Thank you. Okay, welcome back. Now I just wanted to show you the installation of the bearing. So I have pressed the new bearing in. Hopefully I've done it the right way. And uh, the old bearing has come out. So I'm just going to put this back together. Um, should be fairly straightforward. Uh, what I was going to do is just add a little bit of a little bit of grease around the gear here. So I'm going to use some um, just some standard bearing grease. Need to get that over that shaft. It was a bit of a pain getting it on. Thank you. 